Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In last video, we have seen how we can use use state in a native with TypeScript. Now in this video, we are going to learn how we can use text input in React native with TypeScript. For that, I am using a same component button, but I am going to create here the text field. For that, I am just removing this counter. No need of this right now. In place of this, I will use, I remove this. In place of this, I use text field. And whenever I will click on this counter, I am changing the name of this. I say show message, this button, you see show message. So whenever I will click on this button, it will take the text from the text box. If the text box is empty, then it will display some message that your text box is empty. Otherwise, it will display the message that we are going to show. And I will use this same function for this. For that, what I am doing, I am creating here. I just do a comment of this, all, no need of this. And then I use here two state variable, title and string message. So I say const, I say title set title and here i say use state suppose that it's a string by default is empty remember that so uh, i need to specify the type so i say string type i can specify like this automatically i have given here uh, the string that's why it will understand implicitly it's a string now i create one more variable and i give name to i give name this variable to message so i say msg i say set msg like this no message at a time and i can remove this one also one is implicitly string and second is you see string now it is uh, doing some error because we have some problem here counter does not exist i am using here i have commented this so here i am using here i am using the arrow function under this arrow function i say handle press here i will pass the title and msg these two state variables which i am created here that i will use here so i save this done now i need text field that i want to use so i say here view remember and i say text input text input like this way and i just use two text field right now and if i save this you will see that there is nothing is display here so for that i need a uh, uh, some setting so first of all i say here uh, style and this is style for text container first one second i say here uh, style style i say styles dot i say text same i use here copy and paste now i design this so i say uh, text container first of all here i say margin is uh, Margin from the top is 10 pixel. Save this. Then I just need to display the text. So I say, uh, I think text is already, no, text is not there. So I say text, I say text input. Name this. So I use here text input. I say text input. And here I pass uh, border width. Remember, border width that I want to give one here. I save this. You see this text field we have border right now border width uh, now uh, i gave some margin so i say margin from the top or i can say overall margin is uh, uh, five save this you see we have margin i can give color of this so i say border color this border color i say it's a green i put green color here you see border color is green so i think we have text field here now I give some information to this text field. So here I say, after this style, here in first field, I say placeholder and I put here some information that I say enter title, save this. You see enter title is there. Then I say uh, same I will put here also, but first of all, I design this and I say placeholder color placeholder text color and I say this text color is green you see green color is here and I just increase the font size of this so I go to this 
I say font size. Font size of this is 20. Save this. You see font size increase. I say padding. Padding uh, from the uh, padding should be uh, 10. You see we have 10 as a padding here. Uh, now we have this. Now I want to give some text here. So I say here that value equal to title here and uh, I want to take that on change text on stage change text I want to pass I want to pass this function under this function we have a new value this new value will be as a set title under this I pass new value like this way so we will have the value here under this this title now I just uh, copy this whole and I just make a duplicate copy of this and I remove this one now I say enter I say masses save this and I can remove this one also just for simplicity I just remove this one also save this and this value here I say in place of title I say msg because in place of this and here I say msg remember do this done this now I want to check that if this title and this message is empty. So here in this message I want to read this. Here you see we have passed this from, uh, from this here we have passed this. I make it comment and here I say if this title equal to equal to null empty and, and, and this message is also equal to equal to null then I just display message alert and I say here error and I display here that I say title I say message not assigned like this way save this else I use same alert but this alert I will pass the message which we have given here so I pass here title and here I pass the message save this save this also it's saying a message this string should be in single quote so we can do in single quote also to remove this error otherwise there is no problem at all in double quote or single quote but it's saying a message so i'm doing so it's saying must be space so do this save this now we try to check this it's working or not i click on show message and you see that error message not assigned but if i give here message i say title information and here i say I say uh, react native 0.71.1 with TypeScript and I just press this okay and you say information react native 0.71.1 with TypeScript. So we are writing some text here I am writing some text here and these text I am assigning these text by using text input here this new value is coming this new value I am just setting here with set title this value we am displaying here same i'm doing this so message having some information title have some information so these two state variable have these messages okay it's saying it should be single quote so just to remove this warning we can use single quote also but there is no problem at all application is running you see so you see that i'm using here title i'm using here message these are the state variable those are coming here i'm using these variable inside this i'm checking this these are empty or not you see there is some confusion also in a name because I am using here the same name so I can say here uh, I can change this I can say this to uh, title uh, function title I say ft f title or I say f message function title and function message and I just use this here function title and function message like this way we can use and here I can say function message and function this way we can use it save this again I click here if it is empty then we have an error otherwise we can say warning like this way and I can say use react native with TypeScript now okay save this and we just click on ok you see with this message we have so like this way we can use text input also you see text input I'm using and I'm assigning here state variables for just using this value and these value I'm specifying here explicitly by string or by implicitly it automatically understand it's a string you see automatically it understanding it's a string and here also it's a string so automatically explicitly we assign here a string 
that's all in this video if you like it please do subscribe thank you for watching this